All right, guys, in this episode, we are gonna install our charge receptacle, get our charger up and running, charge up the battery, and then also put in our reverse neutral drive switch. That means I'm not gonna have to backpedal this thing manually like the Flintstones. To show you guys what we're going to be using so this is a nutrix 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 connector it is a uh these are rated for 30 amps and that just happens to be what our charging amperage is from our charger so we have this guy and then on our male end we have this guy so it just goes in you turn it and then locks in position so we're going to take Get our female end. It's gonna go right in this port right here. I'm just gonna have this right here. It's gonna come in and boom, charging. All right, let's get to it. We have our charger. Right now it's got an Anderson connector on here. So we'll go ahead and get that swapped out for our Nutri connector. And then we're not gonna be using the CAN system since we have a uh, way to switch the battery from the remote. And so I thought they had a giant old sleeve on here and that it was gonna be the wires rated to the voltage and the amperage. Well, oh, let's take a look right here. Product power, three kilowatt, output voltage, 120 volts, output current, 20 amps. The hell are we running zero aught wire for all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and order some new wire that's impressive I, I, especially from a chinese company that the wire would be that thick that is a wasteful <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say about this like that's absurd all right so i'll order some new wire get it switched out and uh, we'll move forward that is impressively stupid. All right, some new cable came in and all it is is a welder extension cord. 
30 amp cable, so it's a 10 gauge, just uh, the same as the rest of the charging stuff. Um, we're only going to be charging at 20 amps, so a 30 amp cable, plenty. Alright, so we just verified the white is low, so white is hot, white is positive, then our black is going to be negative. Alright guys, so we got it all hooked up now. I have the BMS turned on. See right there. And then reading our battery voltage right in here. I'm gonna hit start. You wouldn't download a car. But you might download a firmware update. We went ahead, downloaded a firmware update for the charger. I'm gonna go ahead, put this in the control board, get it updated, and see if we can get it charging. There we have it charging so we got our charger hooked up next thing I want to tackle is install our reverse neutral drive switch and for that you need a mounting place for it I mean I could just have it dangling here for now but I'd rather just mount it up and I didn't have a foresight to buy any sheet metal ahead of time but I do have this mixing pan from Harbor Freight it's just for mixing epoxy and Spackles and such. It's just the right width. Plus, it's got this nice curvature here that we can work from. So, all we're gonna do is install it here, take and bend it right here on the back side, up, and use it as a back board, and then install our switch right here on the back side of it. Alright, and I think we got it good right here. Got it laying flat on the bottom and it lines up perfectly with an angle in the back right here. So now, I'm gonna trim it up. Because right now, if we do this, it's too tall. Alright, so all we gotta do now is uh, wire in our plug. Yeah, so the wiring diagram for this is not worth a damn. 
that's supposedly the pinouts and the outputs and it just ain't so so we're gonna mark it up on here and uh yeah <laughs> it up ready to go turn this on and I connect the lights backwards all right now we have our light Funny thing, those LEDs, right? There we go. Alright, so now we need to add our three gear switch. You click on it down here below, it says this zero disabled one enabled if enabled three gear with forward, reverse, neutral, if disabled, no neutral. Anyway, so that should be good. So now we're gonna write. After clicking this, we gotta go to back to the three speed switch. So normally, this would be neutral, low, or high. Except when you turn this on, if you want neutral, you also gotta turn this guy to one. That's just kind of peculiar, but. Check this one more time. Sure everything's stuck. Neutral. Dead pedal. No humming from the motor. Drive. It goes forward and drive. And then reverse. It goes in reverse. Sweet. Alright, so now we have a charger done. We have a switch done. And next episode, we'll keep working on electronics. I'm gonna try to cat up some models to get our lights mounted up for front and rear. Uh, so hopefully that's the next thing we're gonna tackle. Catch you guys on the next episode.